Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It's time for another episode of Give Her a Go, where I take a mission out of the Arma 3 Steam Workshop. I play it, and I rate it for you. This mission is called Ground Attack, and it was written by Orange Sherbet. Now, if this mission is anywhere close to being as good as Orange Sherbet is in real life, I'm going to freaking love this mission, because no joke, I really love Orange Sherbet, and now I want to eat a whole gallon of it. Anyway, the situation is that this is my first mission in a combat helicopter, and of course my first mission is of crucial importance. There is a vital Iranian convoy traveling up from the west of the island, and of course it is my job to stop it from reaching its destination. So it seems like this is going to be very straightforward, not going to be too difficult. I'm on the attack, and I know exactly what I'm going up against. Well, I shouldn't say exactly, because I don't know what is in this convoy. But we start off walking over to the Pawnee. Um, the music you will hear when you play this is actually different than the one you're listening to right now. I love the music that is in there, don't get me wrong, but I don't love the copyright strike that I'm almost guaranteed to get if I were to have used the real music. But as I get into the Pawnee helicopter, one of the things that's really cool, if you've never played Arma 3 or haven't even noticed, is that the indicators actually do work on this. So oil temperature is increasing, the torque, the rotor RPM is increasing on the indicators too. It's actually really cool. So we're taking off. And I'm pretty ready for this. It's been a long time since I've been in the Pawnee helicopter, but uh, I should be heavily armed. I've got 5,000 rounds of a minigun ammo. I've got two miniguns actually on the left and right. And also I've got 24 rockets also on pods on the left and right. So I'm pretty excited. This is actually one of the top rated missions of all time on Arma 3 Workshop. So. I've got high expectations for this. Anyway, as I notice that the waypoint's on the other side of the hill, I end up taking a sharp left turn because I don't want to go up over the hill and find out that there may be a surprise over there. Hey, there's a pretty cool city over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wide right turn just so that way I have everything that could be dangerous in front of me. And behind me, of course, is the ocean, which, as you've noticed, there is nothing there that could be of danger to me or the helicopter. So here we are taking a look at the waypoint. Looks like it's an outpost, one of ours too. And so at waypoint Fire two Fire now, this is looks like this is where the convoy the is. So I'm gonna switch to rockets and there they are. It looks like they've got um, heavy weaponry at the front and back of the convoy. Of course my first two miss, but I get enough to be able to hit the back of the convoy and take that out. Again. There we go. Took him out and him and him. All right. So the end of that attack run definitely made up for the first part of it. I think I took out, what was that, five or maybe six vehicles on that one attack run. I used up a number of my rockets to be able to do it. But hey, I'll take it. I'm picking up altitude right now because I do want to make a left turn and come perpendicular to the direction that the convoy is going just so I can get a good look as to which vehicles are moving. See how many are left. So, look down. See one on the move. There we go, I took that one out. So maybe I do have just one more left in this convoy. Now going over the convoy like that, it was obvious that there is no heavy weaponry shooting at me right now. So I can take things a little bit slower. I do still have to be cautious because I am vulnerable to small arms fire. In this helicopter, I still can be shot through the windshield, but I can have more time to set up a good shot. So I'm sliding to the right. I'm also lowering my altitude as well, so I don't have to dip my nose down nearly as much. I can go past this vehicle slower. I'm going to take a few shots. Ends up going over the vehicle, but there we go. The one from the left rocket pod ended up taking it out. And that's it? Like, that's, that's really the whole mission. It took four minutes for me taking off to come over here and destroy it and to come back. That was actually really short. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll get to the ratings of it. Mission difficulty, I am going to give this two out of five stars. Uh, if you have not uh, flown in a Pawnee helicopter before, this will be actually somewhat difficult for you. But for people like me who have spent a lot of times in helicopter or a lot of time in the helicopters, um, not that difficult at all. So uh, one of the things too to kind of explain about this, I did some research after 
I ended up playing it. And this was a mission that came out in Alpha or Beta of Arma 3 when they first released helicopters to kind of teach people what you can do. So that's why it was pretty short and also probably why it was very highly rated. Uh, the next thing of scripting complexity, I'm giving that one out of five stars. Uh, it's not that difficult to put something like this together. It was really a couple waypoints. You put a couple characters on there and uh, for the convoy, you just built it and told it where to go. Not that tough at all. Uh, replayability factor, I will also give this two out of five stars for the same reason of mission difficulty. Uh, if you have experience with the helicopters, you're not going to play this again. But if you need some experience with the Pawnee, hey, you can play it again. Uh, presentation factor, I will give it three out of five stars though because the music was awesome. Uh, I liked it. Again, I couldn't use it. And other than that, there really wasn't anything too special about it. Uh, animations in here you can see are, are okay but uh, the overall rating that I will give for this is two out of five stars I know this is a low rating for the mission but it was very short there's a lot of things that could have been done to make this better for example putting in a second convoy would have been great because then I would have had to conserve my rocket ammunition and have used my minigun a lot more which would mean more strafing uh, and would give people a better opportunity to learn this helicopter a little bit more uh, also giving it a lower rating because of course it was very short and at the beginning when they talked about my mission is of crucial importance and it's a vital Iranian convoy I didn't feel like that, that was the case once I got into the mission at the very beginning I was walking towards the helicopter as opposed to running even though that there was an armed convoy two kilometers out and also it was going away from us and so it would have been I don't know I would have liked it if they were coming to us that way there would have been more pressure for me to take them out and it's almost like you have a set time um, to take them out and so I think that just would have added an additional level of fun to the game but overall again if you guys want to get this remember this is called ground attack by orange sherbet so you can definitely get that on the arm of three steam workshop but thanks for watching you guys I sure do appreciate it more of this to come later on so make sure you subscribe if you have not already you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again for watching. As always, I hope you have a good one.